Hello everyone, this is Ayushi Joshi and uh, I am here with you on HEYS channel that is totally based on current affairs section. So today we are going to discuss a brand new session that is uh, SDG India Index that is Sustainable Development Goals India Index that is released by the Niti Aayog. So let's discuss about it. SDG recently the Niti Aayog released the second edition of the Sustainable Development Goals Index India Index to trace the progress of states and union territories towards achieving the 2030 SDG targets. So let me know you what is basically SDG Index. SDG Index 2019 has been released. Documents uh, it documents the progress made by India's states and union territories towards implementing the 2030 SDG targets. So uh, let me uh, give you the brief knowledge about it. Uh, Niti Aayog released uh, index that is SDG India Index. Uh, according to this index in India, states have to achieve 16 goals by the 2030. And these 16 goals are the indicators of development that how a state or union territory is developing or it will be developed by 2030 okay so it tracks it tracks the progress of all states and union territories on 100 indicators drawn from the national indicator framework basically there are the points these are the slabs of points that uh, these are the total of 100 indicator points okay these 100 indicators are given by the national indicator framework of the ministry of statistics and program implementation mospis so the index spans 16 out of 17 sdgs the goal not accounted is goal 17 this marks an improvement over the 2018 index which covered only 13 goals each of the 16 sdgs ranging from good health to quality index quality education gender equality and climate action comprise several indicators scores are given for the state or union territories on each sdg the composite score of each state and union territory is computed by aggregating their performance across the 16 goals. It means accordingly, uh, if a state or union territories are uh, getting scores, they will get the scores according to these 16 goals. That how much and how, uh, how effectively they work on particular goal. So, uh, overall aggregate marks or scores will be given to that particular state. And then by taking the arithmetic means of individual goal scores. The score of 100 implies that the state and union territory has achieved the targets set by the 2030. The higher the score of the state and union territory, the closer it is towards the achieving the targets. Classification criteria is based on these four slabs. So let's have a look what it is. 0 to 49 it means up to 49 the it will be a uh, aspirant i mean the state or union territory who is scoring between 0 to 49 then he uh, the state or union territory will call known as the aspirant or we will call it an aspirant okay the next thing is performer in performer category we have to score 50 to 65 it in between 50 to 60, uh, 64 okay from 65 to 99 a state or union territory have to uh, go through 65 to 99 then it will be called as front runner okay the next thing is achiever this is the top most category of this index in which we have to score 100 okay so the india uh, the India Index has been developed in collaboration with the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, MOSPI, United Nations in India and Global Gro uh, Green Growth in Institutes. So let's take the key highlights of this index. India's composite score has improved from 57 in 2018 to 60 in 2019. So in composite section, we have uh, gained three more marks or scores by one year. 
okay so thereby showing uh, noticeable uh, progress india itself finds in the performers category the maximum gains have been made in goal 6 that is clean water and sanitation then the goal in uh, industry and innovation and infrastructure and the goal 7 that is affordable and clean energy kerala is on the first rank in states and uh, it scored 70 and uh, followed by the himachal pradesh that is on 69 andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu all these three states ranked on third position they scored 67 bihar is at the bottom with the score of 50 among union territories chandigarh kept the top slot like last year with a score of 70 the biggest improvers since 2018 are odisha 23rd to 15th sikkim 15 to 7th and uttar pradesh 29th to 23rd no state could get close enough to the achiever tag with a full score of 100 but there are no states in the lowest category of aspirants too last year uttar pradesh assam bihar had figured in the aspirants category so let's go through the next key highlights the western states especially gujarat and maharashtra are better off in the economic growth and industries indicating a diversified economy higher employment ratios skilled labor and better entrepreneurial culture the regional divide it's stark in basic livelihood goals such as eradication of poverty growth uh, sorry good health and well being of even in the major such as industry innovation and infrastructure this points of variances in both state governance and in administrative structures and implementation of welfare policies a major fault line in india is in achieving gender equality where we are lacking a lot where bearing uh, where bearing middling performance performers such as himachal pradesh kerala and tamil nadu uh, sorry jammu kashmir uh, the rest of the countries fall short so they even himachal pradesh kerala and jammu kashmir are the middle followers or we can say performers of it still we didn't get any um, points that we are in touching the line of aspirants so we are too short at it so we have to work on gender equality even so uh, low sex ratio poor labor force participation high level of info informality of labor gender pay gap lack of adequate representation in governance besides high primarities against women are among the major national level indicators that have contributed to this now uh, what is the utility of sdg index so basically 2020 marks the beginning of final decade so decade for action for the world to achieve the sdgs india is the first country in the world with the government led sub national measure of progress on sdgs the index is an aggregate measure which can be used by policy maker businessmen civil society and the general public of focused policy dialogue formulation and implementation the sdg india index 2019 is in- intended to prove or we can say provide a holistic a holistic view on the social economic and environmental status of the country and its states and union territories it will thus help move towards development action pegged by the globally recognizable metrics it will support states and union territories to assess their progress against national targets and performance of their peers to understand the reasons of a differential performance and devise better strategies to achieve the sdgs by 2030 now uh, have a look of 
goals uh, according to states and union territories so goal one is poverty no poverty and in it tamil nadu jammu kashmir and ladakh is leading the second goal is zero hunger goa and Chandig- chandigarh are topping in it the uh, third one is good health and well-being kerala and puducherry are going good in this sector uh, goal fourth is quality education himachal pradesh and chandigarh are getting uh, good goals in quality education the next goal is gender equality himachal pradesh jammu kashmir and ladakh are doing well uh, but still we are lacking in it that this is the uh, noticeable point the next goal is sixth goal that is clean water and sanitation in it andhra pradesh and chandigarh are topping other than this uh, goal seventh affordable and clean energy sikkim and puducherry are going well uh, goal eighth is decent work and economic growth telangana and chandigarh are going good in it the next goals are industry and innovation and infrastructure in it kerala gujarat damandiv delhi dadra and nagar haveli are going good the next one is reduced inequality that is telangana and andhra pradesh and nicobar and sorry andaman and nicobar that are doing top in it the next is sustainable city the cities and communities in which himachal pradesh goa and chandigarh are on top the next thing is uh, sustainable consumption and production in which nagaland and chandigarh are going on top so uh, this is the first time when we can see the nagaland's name in it so it will be also an achievement for us the next goal is climate action in which karnataka and lakshadweep uh, uh, is uh, basically leading so the next goal is life below water the only state that is going good in it or we can say performing best in it that is karnataka so the next is goal 15 life on land sikkim manipur dadra nagar haveli and lakshadweep all these union territories and states are going well in it the last goal is that is peace and justice and strong institutions in which gujarat andhra pradesh and puducherry are going good so all these were the goals on which the states and union territories are working and uh, definitely they are going good and they are working on it so to make their states and union territories on the top level so hope by 2030 we all the states and union union territories will go to achieve all these 16 targets so uh, let's uh, pray for it and uh, pray for it and obviously before praying you have to work on it so let's take our country on top thanks for watching this was ayushi joshi thanks a lot